Hi everyone, Kim Jeffries for Hardy Swap, and today I wanted to share with you a quick tutorial on how to use the brand new Mink Reactive Mist with some of the beautiful new white foil to create this fun tone on tone background. You can see in my layout that I've used the mist to add some spritzes and splashes to my background. Now for today's tutorial, I'm going to use some green foil just so you can see how beautiful those splatters and spritzes are. So this is what we're going to need. We're going to use our reactive mist. We're going to need a piece of cardstock that I've already trimmed slightly to size. We're also going to need a carrier sheet, a 12 by 12 carrier sheet, of course our 12 inch mist, and some foil. I've used the beautiful green foil today. Well, I'm going to be using the beautiful green foil today. Now, a few hours ago, what I did was I got my piece of white cardstock and then I took out my mist and then I just spritzed it constantly, continuously across the page. Okay, when you're spraying it, you just need to push down on the little nozzle here and it spritzes out. The reason why I did it a few hours ago because it does take a little while to dry. Out of the three mediums, the paint and the art screen ink and the mist, this does take the longest to dry. You do need to make sure that it is completely dry when you're putting it through your mink machine, otherwise the foil doesn't adhere properly. I also did hit it with my heat gun just right at the end to make sure it was totally dry. Now all we're going to do is lay the cardstock in the carrier sheet and then smooth down my foil. You need to make sure the foil is completely covering all of where you have sprayed. Otherwise, when you put it through your transfer folder, some of the toner ink might come onto your transfer folder. So then all you need to do is um, flatten it out and then put it through your mink machine. Now the 12 inch does take a little while. So while we're waiting for that to go through the machine, I want to go through the rest of my um, layout with you. So you can see the beautiful tone on tone effect I've gotten with the white reactive foil. I've also used some of Heidi's texture, metallic texture paste with um, a stencil that I have at home um, and I've used some of the fun glitter shapes or words, sorry, to finish off my layout. And for these pieces here, I used some of the, let me see if I can find them, I used some of the six inch um, toner papers. They come in a variety of styles and patterns. Stripes, spots, there's a word one, stripey one, great patterns. And I ran them through my mink, my mini mink actually, with some hot pink and light pink foil. And then all I did was I freehand cut um, some cloud shapes and I've just adhered them to my um, layer. Okay, it looks like our uh, page is ready. I'm just going to turn off my mink machine and then all you need to do is open up your page and oh my gosh, look at that stunning effect. I hope you can see the beautiful, beautiful effect that that mist paint Sorry, that mist, um, reactive mist created. I think I'm going to be using this on my next layout. So thanks for joining me. I hope you can find some of the new reactive mist paints soon because, believe me, you'll have so much fun. Thanks.